Tips. You are watching Tia and Dolls. Hello, my name is Bridget, and welcome to my salon. Ah, there is a customer. Hello. Hi, how may I help you? My name is Ken and I need a makeover. Oh, perfect. We actually open. You came to the right place. Have a seat. Oh, sorry. You have a beanie on. How about you remove it so we can see what we are working with? Oops, my bad. It's okay. I will keep it for you. And you're actually looking good. So, what do you want? Actually, I'm getting married very soon. And I've been rocking this hairstyle for a long time now. Today, I want a change, a complete makeover. I want my wife to be surprised when she sees me next time. You understand? Oh, perfectly, I get it. That's so sweet. And what do you think we should go for? I need a change of hair. I mean, a makeover. I think I came to the right place, right? Okay, I see. Well, let me check. Okay, you are a nice looking guy. I think I know what would be nice for you. And I want you to trust me, okay? I'm a little scared, but I think I will trust you. Give me a high five for an encouragement. We're going to do a perfect job and your wife will love it, I promise you. Okay, guys, here we have Ken. He's getting married very soon, and we need to give him a makeover. I have a TV show here on my channel called Ken and Family. If you haven't watched it, please go ahead and watch it so that you can catch up on what's going on and what is coming next. Since this show is around Ken and his family, he is the main character. I want his hair to be nice and versatile. This is not what I need for this show. So we're going to make a change. We're going to do a makeover. By the way, I'm proud of myself for coming out with this little outfit it's not perfect I know but what do you think just let me know what you think about this I did the Benny as well which I find I find it really really cool what I want to do is swap his head give him a head full of hair so that he can wear his Benny and sometimes have his messy hair and in my opinion it looks more realistic Okay, enough of the talking, let's get started. I've had this doll for a long time now. I love his head, his face. It's, he is not a made to move doll. We are going to swap their head so that I can make use of this hair. This is a DIY that I did a long time ago, I guess. I don't know what I was thinking, coloring his head, his hair. Blue. We're going to change all of that. Uh, but what scares me is the fact that their neck do not look the same. Let me show you. Their neck are very different and to the right, I mean the one with the yellow hair, he has a lot of movement on his neck. This one he has a really stiff neck. You can see it's hard to it's hard even left and right it's hard to move have, like you have to force the hair to move around so i have some hot water here i put it in this little thing just because it's convenient so next we're going to place 
the head in the plastic bag. I hope it works. Okay. I'm not sure the head is completely in. I think we left it long enough. Okay, let's see. Ooh. Come on. Oh, okay. That's your turn now. Oh, something is wrong. What's wrong? <gasps> No, okay, okay, it's fine. We're gonna have to remove this. Oh, okay. Actually, they look the same. Mm. Swapping time. Oh, doing. It's weird. I'm trying to work with this one. I have to put push that neck in. That's a tall neck for a person to have. Has a short neck and he has a giraffe neck. And now this one has a nice movement of the neck. He has pretty much no movement now I don't know what to do should we just keep going with this like this or should we get back to our damn this is no neck man okay I have to figure out how we're going to do this because I am a little disappointed right now ah Okay guys, I have an idea. If this works, good. But if it doesn't work, I will have run Ken's head. Okay, this is my old Ken's head, okay? And this is my new one. Based on who was bought first. Okay, as you can see, there is a cut under his chin that goes around the neck and to the other side. I was thinking that maybe I should cut also this part of his head and follow the lines, I'm trying to mimic this one's head. It's not hard, so it will be easy to cut around and remove that excess of the skin. So I took some little scissors so we can have a much precision. So I have to be careful with this thing. So it goes. <gasps> we got the other side as well. Okay, that's the first layer. I'm trying to get this in the center area. 
I mean, this is plastic. It's not a big deal, right? We are not going to cry about it. Okay, guys. I finally was able to swap the head and to fit it on the new body the best way possible. It, look, it looks wonderful, I must say. However, so this is the new head compared to the old one, no, not the old one, the other one. You, you see, I, th I think what I'm going to do to solve the problem is fill the head with the hot glue and then insert this head, this thing inside. We're going to put pour as much as possible and then we're going to insert and let it ooh, and let it stay upside down so that the so the glue won't go down the neck. Oh I I push it a little too. So we finally did it. And you can see around the neck, like it's not perfectly cut, but it's okay. Nobody's going to look that close. As you can see, he looks good with that shirt off and his little jogging pant. Now we are able to move our head around. The next step is to wash his head and remove all these blue colors. I probably should have washed his, ha his hair first before I pour the glue inside his head. That's what came out from the wash. Now we're going to dry his hair. This is my bucket of tools. I have some hair dryer and some brushes since we need a blow dryer and a brush we're going to get use this too seems like we have it's still a little wet and we still have soap in his hair It seems lighter and shinier.
So this is Kenzie's hair completely done and I love this little cut. We are going to go ahead and get him dressed. Let's see how he looks like with his beanie on. So this is the little beanie. I'm stuck the side hair in the beanie. Doesn't he look better this way? You can see how his hair, his eyes popping more. So I have this cute tuxedo with blue blue details on the belt. That's a cute little bow though. With the tuxedo, we're going to put him on this shoe, this blue shoes. He has a blue eyes, so it will just be perfect. Oh, he's, he is looking good. I don't know, should we like, no. Let's put the shoes first. This is Kenzie's final look. I feel like this look will be perfect with a tuxedo. I do not have any tuxedo to put him on for the moment. I want to use the one I have for the actual wedding. This is his entire look. He looks so fancy. The makeover was a complete success. Thank you so much for this beautiful new face. Do not forget to watch Canon Family Show. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.